Hi, today we are talking about electric forces. In this problem, it says four point charges are the corners of a square of side A. Determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant electric force on Q, which is right here, with K, Q, and A left in symbolic form. Let B equal 3Q and C equal 3.5Q. Let the positive x-axis be pointing to the right. So in this problem, uh, what it helps to look for is uh, the direction that these forces are going to be having on each other. So you've got this charge right here, and uh, you know these are these are all repelling. So but this uh, B right here is going to be pushing on Q in the positive x direction in that way. And then this B positive charge uh, is going to be pushing up in the Y direction. Okay, And of course C is going to be uh, pushing on it this way at a 45 degree angle. So uh, we need to find the magnitude at which Q, the, the force is on Q. So this is going to be a vector sum. So first we need to find the force so we've got uh, the force of B, Q, X. Okay, so this is B, this is Q, and we are saying in the X direction because uh, it's going to just be a straight push on this X direction. All right. So when we do that, we use this equation right here force equals K, or Coulomb's constant, times Q1, which would be B, times Q2, which is Q, uh, divided by R squared, which in this case would be A squared. So when we do that, we get K times B, which we said was 3Q. So we get K times 3Q times just Q, and so when we do that, we get 3Q squared, because 3Q times Q will equal 3Q squared. Then we're going to divide this by the distance, which is A squared, because of this. All right. So that is going to be the force uh, on Q from B in the X direction. Now we're going to do the Y direction right here, and so we say the force of B, Q in the Y direction, it's going to be the same thing because B is, uh, B is going to be this uh, 3Q, and then we've got Q, so it's going to be 3Q squared. So we have K times 3Q squared divided by A squared. All right, so now... Uh, so we've got, this is the forces from uh, this one, and it only acts in the x direction. This one only acts in the y direction. And now we've got to do C on Q. All right, so we say the force of C, um, Q, and we're going to do the x direction. So how we do that is, so first we have K, of course, right? And then we've got uh, C is 3.5, so that's going to be Q1. So we got 3.5 Q, and of course it's going to be times Q, so it's going to be squared. And now we have to figure out the distance from here to here. So when you're doing that, uh, what what you do is, of course, you're going to say the square root of a squared plus b squared. Uh, and so when you do that, you get a squared plus a squared, right? Because you've got uh, a down here, and you got that, so you're going to square them. And so what that equals is 2a squared. Okay, or if you if you wanted to write it a different way, what you could put is um, you could put uh, the square root of two 
times a, either or, but I, I usually just write it like that. And so when you do that, you're going to get the square root of 2a um, squared, and then the thing you have to remember is that is the distance, okay, or the radius between here and here, and so you're going to have to square that whole, whole thing, okay? So it's going to be left like that. And we're not finished yet. Remember, uh, since we are looking at the x direction, we're going to be using cosine, okay? Because this is this is we're going at an angle here, and we're going at a four, so theta is going to be 45 degrees. And so we're going to say cosine theta, which is 45 degrees. All right. Now what we need is the y direction. And so pretty much what you're going to be doing is it's just going to be the same thing uh, except instead of cosine you're going to have a sine because uh, it's going in the y direction. So we just write this out again. k times 3.5q squared divided by the square root of 2a squared okay and that's squared and then we say sine 45 degrees alright so now we've got all the forces we've got from the C we've got the uh, the X and the Y uh, we've got the X in this direction we got the Y in this direction now we just have to do a vector sum okay and it, this would be a lot easier if we had a value for A or a value for Q. Uh, you know, it would make it a lot easier, but since we don't, this is going to be a really long drawn problem. So, first thing we do is we get the X values. So, these are the X values right here and right here. And so remember for the vector sums what we're going to be doing is we're going to squ uh, square them, square the root, so it's going to be you know square root and you know you're going to have a squared plus b squared. All right? And then that that will give you the uh, the magnitude of what's happening to q when you uh, add all these forces. So we square root right and we say k times 3q squared divided by a squared plus this other x right here which is k times 3.5q squared divided by the square root of 2 times a squared and then remember to square that okay so there's gonna be two squares right there and there all right all right and then cosine so cosine 45 degrees all right so that's going to be the first part but remember we need to have this whole thing right here for the x uh the, the forces going in the x direction that's going to be you're going to have to square that all right and then, so that's going to be the A part. Now, uh, for the B part, we're going to use the Y uh, vectors. Okay, so we say plus uh, the Y. So we got uh, K times three Q squared divided by a squared plus this whole thing right here so k times 3.5 q squared divided by the square root of 2a squared and remember you have to square that because of that um, and then this is going to, since we're talking about y in the y direction we are going to be using sine okay 45 degrees and then, hang on, let me make this even a little longer. All right. And then put that in parentheses, and that is going to be squared. And 
when you do that, that will give you the magnitude. Okay, and so the only thing that we need to find now is the direction. Well, this is just, I mean, just looking at it, uh, you've got one force that is pushing uh, this way and in the x direction. And the, so you've got right over here, you've got uh, this is pushing in the x direction, this is pushing in the y direction, okay, and they are the same, k okay? uh, times 3q squared over a squared. So when you do that, you get a resulting 45 degree angle. Now, now of course you have to add this in, and since it is going in a straight 45 degree angle, we know that the direction has to be uh, it going it it going at a 45 degree angle. So that is the direction, and this big long thing is the magnitude uh, of the electric forces and it is kept in symbolic form. Kind of a pain in the butt but uh, I think it, it really shows you how things work. I uh, hope that helped.